All right, so where are South African millennials' heads at, specifically when they're engaging with different brands? It's a question that seems to have kept space up at night, and they decided to go to the horse's mouth themselves and interview a selection of South African millennials around how they interact with brands. It's resulted in the Space Opinion Youth Survey, and they're here to tell us a little bit more about that Youth Opinion Survey is Sean Frizzau, Head of Research and Insights. He's an executive at Space uh, Sean, tell me for a second about the thinking behind getting on the ground and engaging with South African millennials about where they're at. Uh, thanks, Ari. So one of the things that we noticed, and yes, that kept us up at night a lot, was the fact that it feels like brands in South Africa, but generally across the globe, is missing the mark when it comes to being authentic and marketing in an authentic way to millennials, right? And so we wanted to see why is that the case? And so we decided, let's go, let's, let's research, let's do some quantitative and qualitative research to look at what millennials are thinking. Can we really see them, first of all, as a group of millennials? Which is, I think, oh, the way in which a lot of marketers approach it, is to go, we'll market, it, we'll market to millennials. So we wanted to see, is it possible to go and say, millennials are a group, they have the same beliefs, they have the same values? And, well, no, that's not the case. For you, some of the most interesting bits to come out of this um, in terms of what you thought going in and versus what the reality actually is when selling to millennials? So, so we went in and we decided oh, we thought we were going to see a lot of what the stereotypes are globally would be the same for, for millennials in South Africa. So we thought maybe they would be the self-obsessed Instagram models that enjoy their avo on their toast every morning, right? But that wasn't the case. The very first thing that, that got us quite by surprise was the fact that you can't see millennials as a group, right? They're so different. There's a lot of consensus on a lot of issues, yes. Um, but if you're a marketer and you're going, I'm going to market to millennials based on some global finding, you're going to miss it because millennials differ so much in their opinions that it really is difficult to segment them and really difficult to summarize them um, as a group. When you have a group of so many different opinions and beliefs and value systems, how do you begin to even broach brand loyalty? Well, it's, it's listening consistently, it's researching consistently, because millennials are still brand loyal, but the threshold is so much lower right now. It's so easy for them to go, I might like this brand, but because of this word or this image that you used, it's very easy, easy for me to head over to another brand, right? Um, so brands have to consistently be in touch um, with what millennials feel, what they think, what the socioeconomic narrative is in the country, otherwise they run big reputational risks. Is the advent of technology the real game changer between this generation uh, and any other? For sure. Um, millennials are seen as a group that grew up with technology, that's technolo technologically savvy, um, but that also influences their narrative, right? So everything they have to do, they have to be confronted with a workplace that is full of technology. Their entrepreneurial challenges are built around technology. Their Global political challenges are built around technology, for example. Um, people might still be obsessed with being an Instagram model, but it's still the, f the fact remains that we, millennials use technology to topple dictators in, in Syria, or well, not Syria, but in Tunisia, for example. Um, so yes, that, that is a big differentiator between millennials and, and, and previous generations. Sean, your final message uh, based on the Space Youth Opinion Survey to marketing managers sitting in the room feeling really stressed out about selling to millennials, what would your message to them be? Invest in research, invest in consistent listening, make sure you really understand what the human truths are, you really understand what drives and ticks millennials and not just as a group but specifically to the sub-segment that influences your specific audience, your specific millennial audience. So don't shy away, don't think you can rely on global insights, you really need to invest in some research. In three words then, it's research, research, research. And if we uh, want to get a hold of that research, it is available. It is. You can go to youth.space.tm online and you'll be able to download the research there. Fantastic. Uh, one consolidated piece of research that will tell you where the millennials are at. Uh, that there is a, a research and insights executive at Space, uh, Sean Frazau, joining us to speak a little bit about the Space Youth Opinion Survey. Sean, thanks so much.